greeting. In the last video we looked at a USB 3 type unit with two colloid mills. This machinery meets the standard for modification of asphalt with polymers. However the industry development dictates new requirements for such equipment. So the Globecore company presents a single mill unit for stream production of modified bitumen, which is our further story. And now let us move on to the features of the plant in terms of the control system. There is a unit mnemonic diagram on the front panel of the control cabinet. Buttons for activating devices in manual mode. Service buttons and a controller. There is also an indication of the power supply and a control of the correct unit S phasing in addition. The control logic is implemented on the Siemens logo controller. The power system of the unit includes automatic protection devices, frequency converters and a soft start device. The control system enables Unit S work in automatic and manual mode. Manual mode is used as a setting mode and is mainly required for adjusting the recipe for the components. The automatic operating mode is the main one and includes the following submods. Heating Modification Modification with additives Recirculation completion and washing the main mode is modification with additives of course the remaining modes are auxiliary service modes the system includes a number of pressure and temperature sensors the system provides a number of emergency response algorithms when the set values are exceeded the system provides an emergency stop or a stop with completion of the process depending on the type of accident Thus the system ensures long-term and safe operation of the equipment. After the operator enters the recipe's requirements, the unit can work in automatic modification mode for as long as desired. It is worth noting that components adjusting is a fairly simple process and takes no more than one work shift as a rule. Recalibration may only be necessary due to replacement of components in use. In fact all Unit S equipment have frequency converters, which allows to vary the formulation of modified bitumen within wide limits. The declared Unit S productivity in the modification mode with a polymer content of up to 6% is about 10 to 12 cubic meters of modified bitumen per hour. It is worth noting that the polymer content of up to 6% is not the limit for the unit. If it is necessary to add a larger amount of polymer, the system automatically adapts by adjusting the productivity. So the main advantage of the unit is the possibility of functioning in automatic mode with almost any known modifiers, either in granular or powder form, or in the liquid phase. In this case the hatch is provided and the plant is equipped additionally with a feed pump. The unit allows you to produce a modified bitumen in a wide range of recipes. Thanks to the high productivity the unit ensures the production of modified bitumen in the shortest terms, while the unit is quite compact. The unit is extremely easy to operate and maintain due to the high degree of automation. The unit can be completed optionally with additional assemblies for adding such components as sulfur or polyphosphoric acid. The polymer input unit can be equipped with a big bag monorail hoist. The pneumatic valves control system can be supplemented with a compressor. The mill can be completed with an end mechanical seal. Thus the unit is a simple, reliable and efficient complex for the production of almost any modified bitumens. And what other features and capabilities of units for modified bitumen stream production would you like to see? Leave your comments down below this video. For more information, visit www.globecore.com.